Good evening and welcome to season three on Chatbox with Sam. Tonight's guest is actor, writer, director, Tom Conkle. Hi Tom, how are you? Hello, thanks for having me on. It's really a pleasure, Samantha. So here is a little trailer for Trouble Is My Business, the film noir set in 1947. Uh, it's about a detective named Roland Drake that I happen to play. And Roland has been evicted from his life. He's sort of in the last throes of, of failure when uh, in walks redemption with curves. Let's take a look. I ask the questions, you give the answers. If you don't, you are going to. Sir! Turn around, officer. Get back to what you were doing. It's not that, sir. You said you didn't want to be interrupted unless he showed up. He's here. All right. Such a nice evening. Really nice evening. You know, I think I'll give you a break until I get back. How about a jaw? Yeah, I mean, he's he's a huge influence on me as well, as was John Cleese. And I always wondered, would I be good enough to go toe to toe? Like, was I the authentic thing? And so I toured, you know, probably 11 years, 12 years doing a double act with this guy, Dave Beeler, where I would write sketches and do like, you know, a 90 minute show, sketch show, old school sketch show. And then I had a sketch troupe called McFlap that we went everywhere. I mean, we, we did all the festivals. We did everything. Mm -hmm. In, nope. During the World Cup, John Cleese <laughs> yeah. tweeted out, it's football, not soccer. <laughs> <laughs> I tweeted that and exactly. I was like, yes, it is. <laughs> yes. Because you know, Americans it, call it soccer and it's, it's football. They do. They call it soccer. Yeah. yeah. And, and I remember he did some tweeting and he used a clip of he and I um, doing the different rules of football. So I'd see in his Twitter feed, like me standing next to him in the uniform while he's doing some sketch on it. So he must have liked doing it. We had we had a ball and we kept in touch for years after just, year, you know, always talking and I oh, should do something. But, you know, we, we haven't. But he, he was such a gentleman and we had great times. And I, I'd written one part for myself in it. Um, which was this general, General Stahl in it. Very funny character, very anarchic. I lavished all this attention on it. Well, they brought in Mark Hamill. And Mark wanted to play that part. And of course, it's, you know, it's like, that's the one I lavished the most. I was like, of course he does. That's the one I wrote really, really carefully. So I got to write for Luke Skywalker for Mark Hamill. He's in that episode. I, I came out directing it first because I had gone to school and done theater and, and cinema and things and, and knew the camera. I'm very technical, as you mm, probably know, because I do visual effects and stuff. Luminactus Productions is my production company yes. in Burbank. They were like, are you real? Like they wanted to connect to you and you and you you bring them into that world. And it's like Fantasy Island. They they're completely uh, involved in it at this point. I literally have played a doctor. And after it, even after they've revealed the show's fake, they've asked me for medical advice after the <laughs> film. Because they're like, you know, I had this thing and I'm like, I'm not really a doctor. And one guy comes in and he's kind of disheveled. You're like, what is he doing at the beach? He had a full suit on and a briefcase. Oh, damn. And I sit him down and it was comedy gold. Like everything he gave me was like a softball. Like, whack. I could come up with a new joke, a new thing around it. And he completely bought it. Halfway through the fortune telling, though, he goes, I'm so glad I came to see you. You know, I just stole a ton of money from the mob in Las Vegas and I'm on run. I'd like to know what you do. And I'm sitting here thinking this is going to be on NBC. This is <laughs> Like everything I'm saying, there's no way this is going to air. There is no way you're going to oh admit to stealing from the mob and it airs. We finished it and he found out it was an NBC show and he signed the release to uh, really? have it air. Yeah, oh the power God. of television. Yeah, okay. he was like, is it going to be on TV? I've, yeah. got, I've got a very serious question. Yes. 
Did he put himself in the witness protection program? <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. Sitting in the stars are watching you